What's up you guys? It's Katie. Welcome back to School Spotlight. Today I am pretty much just going to be playing dress ups within my own wardrobe, which I mean is pretty much the basis of my entire channel at this point and just my outlook on fashion in general. I never really grew up from being that kid wearing princess dresses and tutus, so yes. Today, the idea is to kind of look like I was lucky enough to be a character in an Ayazawa fictional universe. Also pulling inspiration from, I mean, seemingly everyone's fashion icon over on TikTok at the moment, Misa Amane from Death Note. So, yeah. And today we have the perfect sponsor, which is Koi Footwear. I'm so excited to work with them again. Some of my favorite shoes and most worn are actually from them. You guys probably see them pop up frequently in my videos. If you guys aren't familiar with their brand, they are 100% vegan footwear. They have some really cool and interesting designs that comparatively are quite affordable. You guys know I am a sucker for any sort of chunky footwear, which is why they are right up my alley. And today I got to pick out four new styles, which I'm gonna be mixing and matching throughout the entirety of this video so if any do catch your eye there will be direct links down below in the description box as well as just their website if you're feeling like having a little browse but yeah i guess we should just see what looks i can come up with <laughs> Okay, we are starting off strong today. This is one of my most worn outfits recently. Literally one of the only things making me feel cute. Obviously it takes a bit of inspiration from a traditional maid costume. Rather than going for an apron though, I decided to layer on a corset instead. It just brings a little bit more shape to the dress. I accessorized with the most adorable lace wrist cuffs and matched them up to my socks as well. This just kind of accentuated the trim we already had on the dress, giving a very cutesy overall vibe. However, if you wanted to keep the same outfit and switch up that energy slightly, I would just change those accessories. Here, I've got some elbow length lace gloves and some chunkier boots. As an indecisive advocate for outfit repeating, I just wanted to include both. Hopefully it is fairly obvious that this would be my take on what I'd wear if I was Nana Usaki. I don't know, something about the combination of animal print, leather and plaid always reminds me of her, but also always feels quite timeless to me for some reason. And that makes this such a wearable look. I don't think anyone would ever guess that you were trying to emulate a fictional character. Obviously you can kind of add your own twist to things with accessories and choice of hairstyle or even makeup. I mean, come on, you can't have anime inspo without some sort of modified school uniform. This one kind of gives me like Garu schoolgirl vibes, I think it's the leg warmers for me. Although I also think it could be a really cool alternate colorway option for Maka from Soul Eater to wear under like her long black trench coat. I don't know. Back to the leg warmer and boot combo because it do be the star of the show. And I am aware that it kind of looks like I have an ankle monitor on both legs for some reason, but I don't know if I've just been watching too much of that one guy on TikTok because I kind of think it works. I do. <laughs> okay, but are you seeing these pants? Are you seeing these pants? These are my new pride and joy. I am absolutely in love with them. One of them for the longest time finally picked up a pair over on Depop. I believe the original seller is just from Taobao though. So I'll try and find a link for them. Um, also, can you see what's on my shirt under there? Can you guess? That's right, it's my boy Itachi, one of my all time favorite characters. And honestly, I don't usually relate too much in like, not just anime, but entertainment in general. However, the Uchiha's, those are my people. I, I know that for certain, um, which is that alarming? Head pretty much empty by now, so I can't even really explain the rest of the outfit. But I thought I'd show you that it teams up nicely with a plaid skirt as well. So endless options for you to rep your anime merch. You guys should be proud to do so. Oh, and here's me just showing off my cute little Itachi figurine. It is from the alternate dream universe where he's just trying to cook the perfect sunny side up eggs for Sasuke. So yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, look, let's just move on from that. Here, may I present to you the next ensemble. As you may know, I am a big fan of juxtaposition and outfits. So that's exactly what I went for here with this very feminine vintage nightgown paired back with all black, including this harness. This styling actually reminds me a lot of what we saw in the Gucci 2019 fall runway collections. That has just been living on my Pinterest rent-free ever since. So I'm really happy with how this turned out and actually kind of surprised it took me this long to try and read create it considering I already had all the elements. I just know at least half of you must be seeing all the cute people wearing these maxi length skirts on your TikTok for you page and I finally caved and purchased this one. You could definitely go for something darker or maybe even patterned but personally I've found the white to be very versatile. I can still style it up in these sort of outfits inspired by 90s movies like The Craft but if I felt a little bit more girly that day I could take it in a completely different direction as well. But today is not that day so instead I decided to throw on another 90s essential I've seen a lot of recently, this long line leather jacket. Another cool way to style it is with an oversized graphic tee. I also switched out for some chunkier shoes and threw in a little bit of pattern with the bag. I know often people would say to team like one tighter piece with something loose, but do not underestimate the power of a baggy fit. This is so comfortable and relaxed, but you still look stylish. Now a cowboy needs a hat, needs a hat, needs a hat, and a pair of fancy boots, fancy boots, fancy boots. Does this one look more costumey? Yes, but hear me out i feel like usually if you're an anime character you have a very easily identifiable feature often it is colored hair so if you don't have colored hair put a hat on Genius, I know, it makes a lot of sense, but honestly, I actually think the whole fit overall is very, very cool. I would totally wear this. Maybe I wouldn't wear the hat if I was just going out. Like I'd just put some cute little silver hair clips in or something, but it definitely ties it together, doesn't it? It's once again time for something that vaguely resembles a school uniform, but honestly, I don't even really think this one does. Like, yes, it has a pleated skirt, but other than that, I'm not really getting those vibes. I think it's thanks to the sheer shirt one underneath, but I don't know. I feel like this one kind of leans more into my K-pop roots. You know, it looks like something that could be for a stage performance, bit of a gender bender version of Growl. Eh? Eh? I don't know, I think it's cute either way. I really love the detail of these kind of arm warmers worn over top of the blazer to give the sleeve a new silhouette. I think that's a really cool touch. We're actually continuing to stray further away from the anime inspiration with this pink puffy dress teamed with slightly harder accessories. It actually reminds me a lot of the styling they did for Rosé in Blackpink's Lovesick Girls music video. I could totally see her wearing this for one of the stage performances. And I'm pretty sure in the ice cream music video, Lisa actually wears a pair of white boots that is from Koi Footwear. And this exact style I'm wearing today has also been featured in other K-pop groups like Itzy and Cherry Bullet. So I guess that koi and K-pop aesthetic align very nicely. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, please hit me up with any video requests you have because I've been in a bit of a slump in I have a lot of ideas but then I think that no one else is going to be interested in those ideas. So if I knew what you guys actually want to see that would probably be quite helpful. But yes. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!